In this step, we're going to do some layout on the master page. So I'm going to start by putting a div around the whole, well, everything on the, uh, the ma main part of the master page. And giving this div an ID, I'm going to call it main wrapper. There's nothing special with the name here. And then I'm going to make sure that this div wraps around pretty much everything on my page here, on the body of the page. And you can think of this as I'm going to put a big box around everything on the page. And that way I can, uh, if I move the big box around, everything inside it moves around with it. And I don't have to move things around one thing at a time. So the next thing I'm going to do is to actually do the positioning, is add some st styles. So I have to add a style section up here in the head of the document. And we want to make sure and say type equals text slash CSS. So I'm going to put some rules in here that do my positioning. So I'll select the main wrapper. And the first thing I'm going to do is set the position property to absolute. And I normally I would, sorry, I'm going to set it to relative. I do that every time. Set it to relative. And normally I would set a top and a left to actually move this box around. But I'm, I'm not doing this to do any movement. What I'm doing, I'm setting this so that, again, when I move this big outer box, things inside it will just move with the outer box. Um, if I don't do this, if I move the outer box without position absolute or position relative on this outer box, then things inside the box won't move with it. So anyway, that's just something we do for CSS. So set position absolute. I'm going to set the width to um, 800, no, sorry, 760 pixels. I'm going to do a fixed size layout. I'm going to set the height. I'm actually not going to set a height, but I am going to set a min height on this box, my main box. And I'm going to set it to, let's see, so here by 600. I'm going to set it to, say, uh, like 550 pix pixels, so it'll at least always be that tall. And then I'm going to set, uh, let's see what else do we want to do on this. I want to set the um, background color to white. And I'm going to set the uh, the uh, margin. So this is going to basically center this on the page. And again, this is a cascading style sheet trick. But the first number in my margin says to set. What I should set my top and bottom margins to, which are zero. And the second number, in this case, is a keyword auto. Says take whatever's left of the width on the left and right and break it into equal equal sections. So basically, center my center my. Uh, uh, layout on my page. And then next I'm going to do is come down to my header here. Since I made my whole page 760 pixels wide, I'm also going to make this 760 pixels wide here, make that match. And then uh, the next last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to set on the body, I'm going to also set a background color just so we can kind of see where our margins are here. We can turn this off later. I'm going to set a background color to blue, something we can really see. So what this is going to show us is, show, it should show us a white box, 760 pixels wide by at least 550 pixels tall in the center of the page, and all of our content should be laid out in the middle of this. And on the sides of that, there should be some blue, blue in the margins. So we'll come here to our default page and run this. And we can see there's our 760 pixel wide, and we've got the blue margins on the outside. So we could turn that blue off if we want. I'll oh, leave it on there for now so we can get, we kind of keep track of things. But this is just kind of some of the basic layout. I'm not going to go into the layout too much. We know we'll probably change it for this um, a little bit. But it's just the basics, getting this thing centered on the page.